Hello guys, Imanol here. Today, I want to talk about the Unis workflow for Cycles and Eevee in Blender. So let's get started. To send Unis to Blender, first we need to select the correct Unis preset. Once we select it, we'll see that the Unis filter appears in the rules as well as in the Texture Set section. This filter allows us to select the Unim tiles we want to export. If you want to select all the Unim tiles, all you need to do is write an asterisk. If you want to only select some of them, you can either write the tile separated by a comma, for example, 1001,1002,1003, or as a range, 1001 to 1003. You can even combine both, for example, 1001,1002,1003. Think of it as the way you choose pages you want to print of a document. This works the same way for the rules as for the sets. Now, let's send the material to Blender and check out how the shader network is different compared to the non unit workflow. As you can see here, most of the shader network will be the same. The main difference will be that instead of having a single image in the texture node, we'll have UDIM tiles. And if we check the images, we'll see that instead of having one image that is covering the 1001 UV space, we'll have one image per UDIM space. Now, if we check the final results in Eevee, it's working as expected. And if we switch to Cycles, it is also working. In order to have all the images work correctly, it is important to send the unit material using the asterisk the first time. That will load all the unit tiles image correctly inside Blender. After that, if you want to make an update to the maps, you can use the filters to avoid exporting everything again and only export the unim tiles that you changed. Well, that's all for now. In the next video, I'll talk about using the plugin with Blender and Octane. Good luck!